Hello and welcome to the last edition of Mead Week for 2015. I'm Brian Spann. In just a moment, we'll take a look back at 2015 with Mead TV. But first, I also wanted to remind you that the Sound Off Newspaper's special year in review edition comes out next Thursday on Christmas Eve. Now here's a look back at 2015 with Mead TV. Fort Meade's Environmental Division, with assistance from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, have announced that a deer culling project will take place from the end of January through March. Meade Senior High head football coach Rich Holzer received the Semper Fi Coaches Award from the Marine Corps and Glazer Football Clinics. The Semper Fi Award recognizes a coach who lives out the Marine Corps motto, always faithful, and who honors Marine Corps leadership values. Everyone in the region is dealing with what could turn out to be one of the coldest Februarys on record. Snow, ice, wind, and even sub-zero temperatures have made driving conditions in recent days less than fun. It's replacing the current facility based at Abrams Hall. According to hotel officials, the project is on schedule for completion by the end of 2015. Now, what, what we have not determined is how we're going to go on the active side of the Army from 490 to 450,000. And that's what these sessions are all about. 20 brave young women answered McQueen's call to compete in the first Women's National Air Derby. And the women who flew it included Amelia Earhart and Phoebe Omley and Blanche Noyes and a bunch of women that people haven't heard about. $5,233,000, that's the value of the services more than 2,200 Fort Meade volunteers provided to the community last year. We are proud to recognize your dedication and enthusiasm as student athletes. Team E thanks you for a job well done. To all of you, I say thank you for your willingness to do this today. But more importantly, thank you for your participation in this idea of service. These guys give us 500 free tickets for every Sunday home game for us to use for free. So please, if you have not taken advantage of that, please come to Parks and Rec and do that and take advantage and get those free tickets. And that's what the council does uniquely in the country, is to meet on a regular basis and process all of the information and input and expectation that comes from people on base and off base about what the true potential of Fort Meade and the surrounding community can be. Army Sergeant Brianna Winninger, the youngest soldier at the scene, participates in the ceremonial cutting of the Army birthday cake. The Army is celebrating its 240th this week. On this great day, I want to wish Army Community Service a happy 50th birthday. Thank you for caring for the men, women, and families who live and work on this installation and who do so much every day to keep our nation safe. Happy birthday, ACS. First Army's transformation will continue over the next couple of years as First Division East is scheduled to move from Fort Meade to Fort Knox by April 2016, a process overseen by General Bailey up to this point, with the responsibility now falling on General McKiernan. First of all, uh, your garrison commander, uh, Colonel Brian Foley, where is he? I just rode over with him. There he is. The, uh, he's in charge of a lot of stuff. I was uh, he, uh, with, with everything that's going on uh, out of this uh, incredible facility. That's your challenge in life. You can't stop bad stuff from happening anyway. You couldn't if you wanted to. Take the bad stuff and make it into something good. And every now and again, it won't work like this every time, but every now and again, when you do that, you pull the lotto handle and you hit the jackpot. Get your reps up of getting that door slammed in your face. That's okay. Scenes from Tuesday's Army-Navy flag football game on Mullins Field. After allowing a first half Navy score, Army stormed back in the second, scoring the go-ahead touchdown with about a minute remaining. Army wins their second straight over Navy, 13 to six. The game is sponsored annually by the Anne Arundel West County Chamber of Commerce. And that's Mead Week for 2015. We'll resume our shows on January the 8th. And after next week's issue, the Sound Off will return on January 14th. Until then, for everyone at Fort Meade Public Affairs, I'm Brian Spann wishing everyone a happy holiday season.